Hey, what's up YouTube? Today, I'm back with another video. I'll be doing some preventative maintenance on the BMW R1100RT. Uh, I'll be changing out the Hall effect sensor. Or the timing sensor, however you want to call it. I got this bike from Copart and I didn't know if it was done or not. There's no history on the bike, so there's a couple of things that I have to change out and that I changed out already just to make sure that uh, it was done and to my satisfaction and I don't have to worry about it uh, getting stuck anywhere or conking out on the road. One of the things I changed already was the fuel pump and now, now I'm gonna have to take these fairings and everything back off again so I can uh, change this Hall effect sensor. It's a known issue with these bikes after it accumulates some miles on it. I don't know if it was already changed. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but I'll see once I dig into it. Either way, I'm gonna change it out just for my satisfaction. All right, let's go. All right, I got it all stripped down. The tank and the side fairings, both side fairings off. And as you can see, before I even take the whole effect sensor out, you can see, look at the wires. The wires are already messed up. I don't know if you can see that. All the insulation came off. You can see some of the bare copper exposed wires. swap it out for the new one and I should be good to go right here's a quick down of what I've done already I remove the cover the alternator cover on the front of the motor and now I'm loosening up the alternator screws the bolts so I can loosen up the belt and remove the belt, the belt right here. And the Hall Effect sensor is behind this pulley. Now I have the timing mark lined up. The OT should be in the center of the hole. And now I can uh, slide the pin and lock the, the motor from turning and uh, get ready to remove the hole sensor. And uh, this is the locking pin to lock the motor in place. And I slide, this is the hole right above the starter. The best place to see it, yeah. Right there, there's a hole right there that I slide this pin in. pulley bolt loosen and now it takes a 16 millimeter socket and now I'll unscrew that and the whole sensor is right behind it. It's 
electric motor that's attached to the back of the pulley. So that stays in place. That's the Hall Effect sensor. I'm gonna mark it and then remove it. Here it is, removed from the bike. And if you take a closer look now, you can see the corrosion on the wires. This was gonna fail. Got this testing tool to set the whole effect sensor plate timing. And what you do is just move the plate until the light, as soon as the light comes on, that's the point of ignition. And then you can tighten the plate down at that position. Put the cover on. Actually, I put the belt on. Put the cover on. Next is put the tank on, and then all the fairings. And now it's all back together and running. Next stop, the gas station. 